live look outside from downtown Tyler. Of course, this is atop the plaza tower camera. Thanks to Tyler Neurosurgical and Associates. Not a ton going on right now, but we are going to start to see those clouds decrease and another chance of showers and thunderstorms as we head into about this time tomorrow evening. So we saw a little bit of rain earlier. It didn't amount out to too much, but uh, most of those showers that we were seeing are beginning to just collapse and dissipate, but up to the northeast, several storms have taken shape in portions of Arkansas. But temperatures right now, we are in the 70s and they continue to come down. They're probably only going to fall about three to four more degrees. Dew points in the upper 60s and lower 70s, so we continue to ramp up that Gulf moisture. 69, that is your low temperature, decreasing clouds as well. And then as we look at future casts for tomorrow, as I mentioned before, skies clearing out tonight. We're starting out dry tomorrow morning, so I don't have any issues weather wise in my forecast for tomorrow. However, we begin to add in a little bit of that instability, potential energy, and we do have a chance of showers and thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon and evening, probably about as early as one or two o'clock in the afternoon through about seven or eight, kind of like what materialized tonight. That's what I expect tomorrow. So be weather aware. If you are planning on heading out and about tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow evening, but then we're done with the rain later tomorrow night, and then that will be followed by another chance of showers and thunderstorms as we head into Saturday. We'll discuss that here in just a little bit, but First and foremost, here are your high temperatures for tomorrow afternoon. We will be in the 90s, and then as we look throughout the day, plenty of sunshine through noontime, lower 90s by 3 and 5 o'clock, and the best chance of storms will be around this time, 3 to maybe 5, 6, 7, 8 o'clock in the evening. As we look at futurecast, this is Saturday morning. This is 9 o'clock in the morning. We're tracking a complex of showers and thunderstorms to our west. These will progress through the area, and that will give us one round of storms, but another round of storms is expected as we move into the afternoon. This is about noontime. Those storms move out. Other storms develop off to our west and then they'll move through after about four o'clock tomorrow evening and they will be a little concerning through at least seven, eight o'clock Saturday evening before they ultimately exit the area by Saturday night. That being said, slight risk of severe weather is out for all of East Texas. And what does that mean? Because we do have a lot of events going on on Saturday, one of which is down in Jacksonville at the Tomato Festival. And as you can see, upper 70s through nine o'clock at 85 by noontime, we will be tracking those showers and thunderstorms Saturday afternoon, so remain weather aware if you are heading out to that heat dome. It is forecasted to develop by the middle to late part of next week. What does that mean? A strong ridge of high pressure is going to take shape over northern Mexico and southwestern Texas near triple digit heat from Dallas pointing off to the west and then 94 to 99 degree temperatures for us here in East Texas. Next seven days, 90s across the board. Plenty of sunshine as we move into next week. 97 Wednesday, 98 next Thursday, but once again, you will need to be weather aware for Saturday and Saturday evening. And then as we look at deep East Texas, similar deal, some showers and thunderstorms tomorrow evening, but again, low chance of rain, better storm chances Saturday. Neil Casey, Thanks for time jobs. We're coming